David Schuler, an aviation history researcher, wrote that the first air hijacking took place in Peru on February 21, 1931. This occurred as armed revolutionaries approached an American pilot and tried to force him to fly to their destination. After a brutal 10-day standoff, this plot was deemed unsuccessful. The U.S. Attorney General's Office defines air hijacking as the unlawful seizure of an aircraft by an individual or group. After doing considerable amount of research, including a personal interview with a former Transportation Security Administration employee, I can speak effectively about the facts pertaining to full body scans and why people should willingly submit to them at airport security checkpoints. If I told you one simple act could save your life, would you follow through? Upon my research, I've concluded that full body scans create a safer environment for passengers while flying. The devices that are in place use advanced imaging technology, which is state of the art. Millimeter or x-ray scanners use wave movement to penetrate clothing and reveal what is underneath. In 2011, the Department of Homeland Security reported that, transportation, that TSA agents had confiscated over 1,000 items weapons at airport security checkpoints while using these devices. Although these devices will detect weapons, they're also designed to detect anything that is prohibited from being carried on airplanes as well as drugs and drug paraphernalia. Aside from what some people believe, full body scans do not jeopardize your health. The Food and Drug Administration says that there is no more than a minimal risk to those being scanned. The only device that uses radiation is called the backscatter scanner. It does so by generating a small amount of radiation x-rays that will bounce off the skin. Although it uses radiation, the amount only has a small interaction with the skin. To put this in perspective, Kelly Classic, a physicist at the Mayo Clinic, says that the amount of radiation you're exposed to in one full body scan is equal to two minutes of flying, 40 minutes of just living, and you would have to take 1,000 scans in a year to equal one chest x-ray at your local hospital. Millimeter scanners use electromagnetic waves that will pass through clothing transparently. These waves are very similar to radio waves and pose no health risk at all. The biggest controversy of full body scans is the question of do they violate your privacy and your Fourth Amendment right? With this in mind, the TSA have developed actions to protect your privacy. The images that are shown are just an outline of the body that has no color. The facial features are blurred. The person that sees the image is in a different room away from the scanners. If the computer deems the person 100% 100 clear, then the image will not show at all and it will just show the word OK. After the person is scanned and cleared, the image is deleted. With these precautions in place, some individuals have still filed lawsuit against the TSA. In this case, the Supreme Court has refused to see to hear any of the plaintiff's appeals and have backed the
the TSA in giving the full body scans. From our research, I have concluded, concluded that full body scans create a safer environment while flying. Doing so, they do not create a health hazard and are backed by our judicial system. If this, if my, re if my research has not persuaded you to willingly submit to full body scans, I have one last thought. This is a picture of what a full body scan looks like. This is a picture of a plane crash that was hijacked. Which would you rather prefer happen to you?